Hey, and welcome back to the Hair Lounge. My name is Angelina. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I dry my hair only using two products. Let's do it. If you enjoy learning about hair, click the subscribe button and the bell to get notified for all my new videos. I will be honest with you guys, I normally don't dry my hair. Majority of the time, I let it air dry. I have a little bit of wave to my hair, as you can see, and I feel like I get a tiny bit more body, less frizz when I let it air dry. But when I'm in a pinch, I will dry it. So I will show you how I do this. That way, I can still have my hair last me roughly two, maybe three days by not using a ton of product. I will be using Big and Sexy's Root Pump, just at my roots. Shake it up a little bit. It's one of those products that just foams, um, similar to an actual mousse, but it's a tiny bit different. It has a little bit more grit and hold to it. So I will section my hair, and I just like to do this at my crown. I don't do it all over. Because like I said, I do want my hair to last me a couple of days of not shampooing it. I have noticed if I use too much product on the first day, I for some reason cannot get enough um, days out of my style. And to be honest, the less you shampoo your hair, the better. I'm not saying go you know, three weeks without shampooing your hair, but if you can kind of let your natural oil do its thing, your hair is less dry. So I just sprayed out my root and just rough dry it in. I'll link all the products, like I said, I'm only gonna use two today, down below in the description box. I did let my hair air dry a little bit. It is better to let your hair dry a little bit before you actually use your hair dryer on it. This being, you're not gonna sit there for an hour drying your hair. So let it dry just a tiny bit. Then I always like to start on my bangs. I get my hair sectioned the way that I like to section it. And the reason I start on my bangs is because this hair is shorter and it seems to dry faster. So I wanna make sure I get that styled before it dries too fast. Same with on this side, this hair is a lot finer, so you want to dry your bangs and then kind of, you know, the right side of my hair, it might be the left on yours. That way it is styled before it actually dries. So let's start. I won't be talking too much when my dryer is going because I know you probably will not be able to hear what I'm saying. And then I'll be taking my vent brush. This one is by Cricut. Just your typical vent brush with the holes in the back. This lets air flow from your blow dryer go through your hair um, and help it style it or dry it a little bit faster. I will be focusing on my part line, mostly on my crown where I put that root pump in there to kind of get a little bit more lift and volume out of it. I will also be doing my bangs and around my hairline to make sure that hair doesn't dry before I can actually get it styled the way that I actually want. I'll be putting my brush in, lifting my roots up vertical. That way I can get a little bit more lift out of them um, for my style that I'm gonna be having after this. And then I'll just be rough drying my hair. I want it to be fairly dry, um, but a little bit cold to the touch before I actually start sectioning my hair and really focusing on how I'm going to style it for the day. So you're not gonna be able to hear me, so I just wanted to make sure you guys knew what I was doing. I'll be using on my part in bangs, a low speed with a medium heat. Uh, and then once I get that all done and I'm doing my rough dry, I'll use a higher speed and still a medium heat. And I'll be back after I get this finished.
as you can see, my hair gets pretty large. It's not completely dry yet. I can still feel some coolness or dampness to my hair. But this is now when I'm going to take my butterfly clip and clamp it up. Leaving roughly about an inch and a half on this underneath stuff. This is when I'm going to take my dryer on a lower speed, still medium heat, using my vent brush to smooth everything out. When you use kind of the lower speed, it makes it so all that um, air is directing straight down on your hair shaft or just your hair in general, and it makes it smoother and shiny. The reason why you do this after you kind of get it roughly dry is because if you started that at the very beginning, it takes you forever to dry your hair. So you want to make sure you get majority of it dry before you start sectioning it off. Then I'll just be going all the way up my head, continuing still that same process of trying to get it all the way dry, all the way smooth using my blow dryer. After each section that I do, I will be using my cold shot button. Some people don't know what the cold shot button is on their dryer, and this sets your style. Whenever you do a cold burst of air over the section, that's gonna leave all that hair looking super shiny and smooth. So make sure you, you're, you're utilizing the cool shot button on your dryer at home. Again, you won't be able to hear me, so I'm just gonna dry and you guys can watch. button right now, directing that heat straight down on my hair. Doing one more pass. And as you can see, it lays a lot smoother. section. Again, keep those sections about an inch and a half. Sorry, keep those sections about an inch and a half. Again, same thing. It is easier if you separate it kind of down the middle, pulling, you know, each section to one side versus the other, starting with the warm heat. Moving on to my second to last section. As you notice when I'm using my cool shot button, I'm not having my um, dryer being moved side to side. I'm just going straight down on it. That'll keep that hair, you know, super, super um, straight into your brush. You can use your direction nozzle on your dryer to keep that hair or the air going straight down. I don't like to use mine, but it does help. I just, for some reason, don't like mine. But you can use yours. Here we go, next section. And my very last section. Well, this is how my hair looks after I use the blow dryer to it. As you can see, I still have a little bit of puffiness, kind of some fluffy ends, but considering I have a decent amount of curl to my hair, it goes fairly straight. Now I would just use my flat iron or a curling iron to style my hair, but as you can see, using that cold shot button, look at all the shine in it. 
It adds a decent amount of shine to your hair when you utilize that cold shot button on your blow dryer. As you can see, that root pump, it does add a decent amount of volume at your roots. I can kind of fluff it up and make it as big and Jersey Shore-like as I want, um, but obviously, I'm not gonna do Jersey Shore style, but I like that I can still run my hands through it and get some volume out of it. Then, if I was going to, say, just rock this look, I have this new Kenra Dry Volume Spray. This is a spray that you can um, do if you want it to hold your style, if you want to add a little bit more volume to your style. It's kind of a versatile spray. Like I said, it's newer, but it is softer. So that way you can spray it on your hair, say the first day, and not make your hair super crunchy. And it can last you for say the two to three days that I like my hair to not be shampooed. So we're all just sprayed on our hair, pretending like this is how I'm actually going to wear my hair. You do short bursts into it, and I am going to just spray it kind of all over and then curl my hair. So stay tuned for that, and I'll show you guys the finished look. Now we're back. I ran the flat iron through my ends just to soften out those ends so they weren't so fuzzy looking. But as you can see, I have tons of volume still on top thanks to using that big and sexy root pump and the new Kenra dry volume spray. Don't forget, I will make sure to link everything down below. That way you guys can see all the products I use today and it's quick and easy for you to use them as well. I hope this helped you guys no, kind of how I dry my hair whenever I decide to use a vent brush, but still keep the volume on top. Don't forget, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button and the bell. That way you get notified for all my new up and coming videos. Leave any comments or questions down below. I love to hear from you guys and we will see you next time. Bye.